always interested me. That's a thought that hurts me every now and then, knowing that there are significant cultural works out there that you will just never fully understand Appreciate, because they're yeah. made for a culture that's not yours. Yeah, yeah. or a language that's not yours. Or a yeah, a language mm -hmm. that you'll most realistically never get all of the simplicity or synchronicities of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can only translate so much. Um, I'm, speaking of which, though, I'm reading uh, Homer's Iliad. Oh! The, the, uh, I've yeah. read that. Yeah, high school. Sorry? Yeah, I had yeah. to read that in high school. So it did sucks. I. Yep. It was so boring. Like, I just don't oh, get into on. it. Come I really on. don't. Is that the one where he gets home and he's like, ah, oh, you were fucking my wife, huh? What, you that's, thought, you thought you could do that while I was gone? That's, 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 that's the Odyssey. Odyssey. That's the Odyssey, right. Okay. That's the part I remember about the Odyssey, where <laughs> he goes on this <laughs> giant epic journey of, like, and Cyclopses and shit. He, he fucks, um... Uh, not the sea babe. Is it the sea babe? I don't know, but he himself fucks somebody else too. And then he comes yeah. home, he's like, ah, so all you ran a train on my yeah. wife, huh? Yeah, he goes on this giant epic journey with like cyclopses and like all these monsters and this incredible stuff for years and years. And then he comes back home and everyone thinks he was dead. And he's just like, what the fuck? I was gone for years and you thought I was dead? You fuck another man? How could you? You whore. Yeah, like he gets <laughs> yeah. upset about all the suitors. <laughs> Classic book. Classic. Very relatable. It's from what, like four BC? I don't know, but the first cup. Yeah, super duper old. <laughs> that was like eight hundred, I think, actually. But it's like super old. Yeah, I also Pretty read. Old uh, book. Did you guys read Beowulf? I had to read Beowulf for high school. No, I didn't read Beowulf. Beowulf's actually pretty fucking cool. There we go. It's about a guy who just all he does is anytime there's a problem, like a monster shows up or some terrible thing, he just walks in and for 20 minutes monologues how great he is and then kills the monster. And that just happens like 20 times. It's pretty good. I thought I thought Beowulf was a monster. No, he's is a he strong, not? tough king, dude. Uh, the uh. monster in Beowulf has a famous name, though. Uh, I'm blanking on it. Grendel. Is it? Grendel, Grendel is the yeah. monster in Beowulf. Yeah, because the final battle... So the first battle of Be Be Beowulf is against Grendel. <laughs> and then the second battle is against Grendel's yeah. mother. Yeah. Which is a bit weird, but okay. So and basically, final... in, in Beowulf, he's fighting Grendel and he rips his arm off. And then he monologues about how great he is. He's like, I ripped your arm off, you suck dick, I'm the best, fuck you, fuck your mother. And Grendel runs back to his mom, like, bleeding out and crying, and he's like, Mommy, Beowulf was mean to me. And she's like, what? I'm gonna smack your shit. And then they get into a fight. And Beowulf the whole time is like, <laughs> you're fucking dumb, I'm killing your mother, you're so stupid, I'm the best. I fucking love Beowulf. He's <laughs> great. But then he's... Then his final battle is just against something called the dragon. Yeah, and he's old as fuck, too. Literally, his fi I believe his final monologue in the book is he's old as shit and he's like a super strong king. And his final monologue is, even though I'm old, even though I'm dying, even though I'm like coughing up blood and dust, I'm gonna fucking kill you because I'm the coolest guy ever. <laughs> I love Beowulf. I want to reread it. It's so good. So was, was this just like a... I don't know, like early fan fiction from the year 700, like some king got this commissioned by <laughs> some fan fiction. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, man. Make me sound cool. If you I want to fight a dragon. If you want to read the original Johnny Bravo, you basically read Beowulf. It's fucking great. Love Beowulf. Yeah, I think it would be so cool if in thousands of years people look back at, like, our art that we've created and there's, like, a belief that it actually happened. Like, Johnny, like, maybe, like, the, the transcripts of Johnny Bravo, people believe that that actually happened. <laughs> Documentaries. I just think future would be so cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, like Rick and it, Morty. It doesn't oh, even yeah, have to Rick be that Morty's far good. from now. There's already people that legitimately believe in, like, half of the fantasy shit that exists right now. Mm, true. Like what? What do you mean, like, what? We were just talking like, about one not too long ago, the people that believed that JFK Jr. came back via necromancy because someone wrote that on fucking 4chan as Q on, QAnon. Oh, yeah, but that's, like, that's yeah, like rooted count, in, though. that's rooted in, like, real stuff that actually happened. Well, not, oh, yeah, obviously, the conspiracy, <laughs> the conspiracy didn't happen. <laughs> but, like, it's, like, Johnny Bravo is not rooted in anything in real life, you know? Yeah. It's a yeah, I guess that's fair. Did you, uh, just to briefly go back, briefly to go back to the Harry Potter game, though, talking about, uh, like, 
<laughs> fucking weird communities. Did you guys see that post that I, I put on uh, the Discord about a PSA being posted to the r slash Harry Potter game about uh, basically be careful and listen to your body as we approach the beginning days of uh, Hogwarts Legacy and the extreme grind some of us are going to do or have already started. Please, please, please take care of yourselves coming from a paramedic. And then it's got a list of things <laughs> that they need to do. Like, number one, drink some damn water. Not soda, not juice, water. Gatorade is okay if you're cutting it because it's so full of sugar. Then two is eat some real food. Yeah, a lot of us bulk ordered Harry Potter treats and snacks, but eat a real meal at some point in the day. And then number three is use a restroom. <laughs> it's how your body flushes your system. Like, this is just fucking basic advice for living. <laughs> well, like, number three on, almost makes me think this is a troll post, but then again, it's Reddit, where everyone is pathetic. It's Reddit, yeah. So it can be it's, real. Not, not only that, it's like I've voted and people are like, oh, yeah, it's, I think it's important to remember that we, we, need, we need to take care of ourselves. I know we've been waiting for this for a long time, but no game is worth your health or something like that it's like jesus fucking christ why do we need to be reminded to eat drink and shit in the toilet how the far we come? every game the game's so realistic you when destiny. you shit in the game it cleans out your colon in real life <laughs> <laughs> it's so goofy then there was the website uh someone made that they then took down after they got made fun of that was detecting every twitch streamer playing the game to show oh, yeah. them yeah and then everyone told God. the guy to get a fucking life and real problems and i think that website was up like what eight hours before they took it down <laughs> i didn't even know it got taken down oh yeah it got taken down uh, i think the when discourse... you go to it now yeah what no oh, i'm just gonna say it says the service has been suspended by its owner uh, okay so he removed it. Is the discourse this... around like Twitch, Twitch people playing uh, the game has just been so fucking toxic and over the top. It's so dumb. It's <laughs> is this the most divisive of... game launch of all time? Do you think? No, it yeah. isn't. No, no, it absolutely no. is. What, uh -uh. what, what would uh -uh. possibly beat it? No, I don't think anything beats it. I'm saying that it isn't div divisive at all because 99.9% .9 of people don't give the least bit of a shit. They just buy it and play it. It's I think Andrew meant controversial. Fringe. I meant I meant in terms of online discussion about the game and that. Yeah, of course, for every oh, game. Yeah, discussion, yeah. yes. Uh, but, it, but in terms but of is... like, yeah, ar the, around it, the discourse and whatnot, is it the most divisive game ever released? Uh, I mean, if you're hyper online, then yeah. But like I said, the the average person doesn't even have any idea about this. They don't care. They yeah. don't know. Mm -hmm. Brady didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody does. Like the average normie doesn't. Brady is the average normie. That man does not spend his time on Twitter going through conspiracy theorists talking about J.K. Rowling genociding people. Like he doesn't give a shit. Like,